cyber security, we must let you know, is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. Now, the cyber security levy seeks to collect a levy amounting to some 0.5% of the value of all electronics transactions by the businesses specified in the second schedule of the CBN Act. Again, the Central Bank of Nigeria has been asked to withdraw the secular, directing banks to start withdrawing the levy. The House of Reps thinks the CBN has simply misinterpreted the provisions of the Act. The lawmakers want the Apex Bank to issue an unequivocal secular in line with the letter and spirit of the law. Let's share this story with uh, our own Joke Adisa. Joke, we are waiting. Let's go there. Line with section 44, subsection 2A of the Cyber Crimes Prohibition and Prevention Amendment Act 2024, the Central Bank of Nigeria on Monday directed all financial institutions to commence the implementation of a proposed 0.5% levy on electronic transactions in the country, the barely 24 hours after a similar motion was stepped down. Minority leader Kinsley Chinda on behalf of the entire members of the House, revisits the subject matter. It picks holes in the language of the CBN circular, which led to multiple interpretations, including that the levy is to be paid by bank customers. The House is further worried that unless immediate pragmatic steps are taken to halt the proposed action of the CBN, the Cyber Crimes Act shall be implemented in error. To avoid raging ambiguity, the House directed the CBN to withdraw the circular for modification. Lawmakers also shifted their attention to the procurement process of the ongoing lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. A motion for Benue lawmaker Austin Achado calls on the federal government to submit all guarantees. For the award of the contract violates the Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission Act 2005 and contracts for financing, construction and maintenance must be advertised for open competitive bid. The House also mandated its Committee on Foreign Affairs to carry out a holistic investigation into the activities of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Missions. Had received several complaints regarding issues of employment in the Ministry and Missions, appointments, postings, redeployments and disciplinary issues that have affected morals and service delivery. In another motion, the House calls on the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kashim Shetima, as the Chairman of the Board of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company to summon an emergency meeting for the urgent resuscitation of the Guarain Power Plant in order to increase the national grid. To avoid another round of inactivity across government-owned tertiary institutions, the House, through a motion, calls on the federal government to see to the implementation of agreements reached with workers' unions. Joke Adisa, TVC News, Abuja. Welcome back. Thank you, Joke. Yeah, uh, Yusuf, Joke was telling us about what happened uh, at the Green Chamber. Yeah. But the one that concerns us here is reps and the cyber security levy. What's your reaction to it? Like, every, like most Nigerians, and I think about one or two people who have supported it, most people that have spoken mm. about it, are against, you know. The levy. At the time, the economy is in bad shape. At the time, Nigerians are really, really suffering, hunger in the land. Mm. You know, what is working? Now you need to punish them the more. Everything. What can you afford? It's ordinary food. Millions are able to you know, feed. But, but, so but this but, is not but, the time. But, and you see our banks. I'm coming. You see our banks immediately. They put out the information. Hey, right. To, beginning from uh, May one, they didn't even say May six again. They bring it back to May one. I could <laughs> you for my box. Yeah. I said, Oh my God. But when you look at 
Mm -hmm. If you if you if you transfer five hundred thousand, you this what you pay one million. If you do this, if you collect this, is that how to grow the economy? Mm -hmm. I know the government needs money, but it shouldn't be at the expense of ordinary, you know. Of, of, of. So 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 for you, the what the House of Rep has done is the right thing. They should be doing things like this, standing by okay. the Nigerian people. Okay. Yes. So w w you expect the banks to react? Immediately. The CBN and all commercial or whatever banks should, you know. Mm -hmm. And you heard what they said. It was said that. That's it. Even bringing the tax, I mean, levy, is in error. But they interpreted that Mis act Misinterpreted in the... Yeah, in error. Yeah. And they are, the, they are the ones that passed the law. So I didn't pass the law. So my opinion of the law may not be correct. I believe they understand the intention of the be, law. Be see, these times we live in, we all live in, <laughs> keep trying our souls. I, I think we should first of all understand what cybersecurity is all about. Yeah. If we have an understanding of cyber security, cyber crime, then we should now ask ourselves, whose responsibility is it mm. to ensure safety in our cyberspace? If you look at it from that perspective, you will understand that it is not the responsibility of the people to guarantee safety yeah. in the cyberspace. Because cybersecurity talks about uh, secure, protecting systems, networks, and programs. Thank you. From digital attack. From digital attack. Yeah. Yes. With, who are the people using systems, applications, and all of that? We have them here, and it's in the law. They are the internet service providers, banks, and other financial institutions, insurance companies, and the Nigerian Stock Exchange, which the lawmakers listed as people that or as bodies that should pay the 0.05 percent 0.5 percent yes charge levy levy exactly because they are the ones that are making use of applications they are the ones that are in the business of of, of digital payments they are the ones that are doing all of these things all of us you and i we are just they are merchants we are just their customers it's just like you are doing business and you want there are certain uh, challenges around your business mm -hmm. brought about by technology yeah. the same technology that you are enjoying do you understand me because we are going through cyber security crisis because of advancement in technology which is also helping us to do a lot of things and to make our lives comfortable. It's unfortunate that, you know, cyber threats come with this advancement. So who are in the business of this uh, trading, yeah. payments, and all of that? They are the people that are supposed to protect the space and ensure that their business is not compromised and that the services they offer so to their uh, people... Uh, as I said a while back, if you transferred, say half a million to me uh, I shouldn't be the one to be levied be, yeah I shouldn't be the one to be levied to ensure that you secure the your systems legitimate because I you are doing business with me yeah. you have already done electronic I pay electronic uh, transfer charges yeah. already there are so many charges to take from me mm. as your merchant or as your client or as your customer so, so on this score the House of Reps is right? It is not only that the House of Reps is right. The truth of the matter is that the CBN misinterpreted the law. And therefore misapplied. And therefore misapplied. Mm. The law is there, but the law is for this set of people that I just mentioned. Those are the bodies that are supposed to pay the charge. And it's a good thing for us to have a robust system. Mm. of fighting cyber crime yeah it's not a bad thing it's very good and we need it because we lose lots of money 
to cyber crime on yearly basis. Some even say four billion dollars mm. annually, and that it can even rise to over twelve billion dollars. It's yeah. a serious problem. It's yeah. a serious case. But it's not the responsibility of Nigerians, the Nigerian public, to bear the, to brunt. Bear the brunt. No, it's yeah. not our. It's not our problem. We didn't cause it. We didn't cause the problem. Yeah. It's a business deal, and those in the business. Uh, environment should seek ways of ensuring that their system and the space is safe for put, the operations simply, of everybody. Uh, Yusuf, uh, put simply, the National Assembly members should oversight things like this. I think, I think, I think this is part of, this is, this is just a part of it. Mm. And uh, I think the, the Saudi mode of the country, because people were totally against this, and they had to go back to the law they passed that. This Wait is a minute. Was. <laughs> is this what we really wanted at that mm. time? And now they try to educate us. That is wrong. Mm. That we shouldn't be near that brunt. That the people who use that, let them pay. And even if it is a good thing to, to, to levy us, mm. is it the right time? Something you, know, you, you can do a good thing at the wrong time. I, not even, I don't even think it's, it's a good and, thing. And it's it's not even a good thing for for a business for you to levy me to run I, your business. Look at look, look at what you go through in the banks too. You have all sort of you know if you involved, if if, involved charges, if you transfer money, and money and to me the SMA charges uh, 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 VAT of social charges. You see yeah. all sort of charges exactly. that you wonder are we the only country. We are, you are banks. Mm. <laughs> so now the CBN, if it doesn't withdraw this, is just giving more arsenal to to the banks to uh, further exploit us the more. No, I think the CBN got it wrong. It, and it has to be stated clearly okay. that the CBN got this wrong. It's got it wrong. It should go back and study the law. Mm. And, 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 we are, and it, it will see it. It's clear in the law that... The people that should be charged, the bodies that should pay that money, it is not the customers. They are not Nigerians. And that is the point the lawmakers are making, yeah. that Nigerians are not the ones. Because doing this, we give Nigerians the impression that the government is trying to punish them. Okay. Whereas that is not what is going on. Government is not in... The, the what is happening now is a fact that maybe the CBN saw this thing. They thought... It's, it meant the people, and they just issued that circular. But it is not the people. Okay. It is the banks and the rest. They are the ones that should look for their money and go and pay to the accounts that they should be paying into. They should just leave Nigerians out of this. Okay. All right.